ratings. You guys know that I love texture in my hair and I normally have some kind of texture going on at any given moment. So today I'm gonna be showing you three different hairstyles. So instead of just wearing your hair down with texture, which I really love, you can play around with it a little bit and create some new hairstyles that are super easy to do and they all work with shorter length hair, which is awesome because I am in the shorter hair club. There's a little bit of wave going on. You have lots of texture and body and it just looks really effortless and you don't have to use a curling iron or anything like that. And I just love the feminine look that it creates. So yeah, I hope you guys are ready cause here we go. I started off using the Dove Intensive Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. These help straight thin your hair and they also help prevent split ends and any kind of other breakage. Now I'm just going to follow up with the Tresemme Perfectly Undone Wave Creating Seafoam. Recently this has been one of my favorite ways to create soft and natural movement in my hair. I love it and have been using it a ton recently. So with this first look, I'm going to take two sections of my hair on each side and you can part your hair whichever way you like. I just went with the side part today. And all you have to do is basically just braid the sections back. And since you're gonna be connecting these pieces at the end, it's really helpful if you braid your hair towards the back of your head to avoid any kind of weird bumps that you might get along the way. And then all you have to do is just secure them in the back of your head. And if you overlap them, it really kind of creates this crown look, which is really cool. And you can just pull apart the braids to add a little bit more more of that messy texture. This just makes everything more laid back and less structured, which is awesome because you don't have to worry about making everything perfect. And on top of that, this looks like Pinterest hair to me without all of the effort that sometimes has to go into Pinterest hair. So now for the second hairstyle, I'm starting off with two sections of my hair and within those sections, I'm gonna create an additional two sections. All you have to do is take those two pieces and twist them around each other so you get a really cool twisty look. And as you move along, you're gonna grab pieces of hair kind of like you do with the French braid, only this is kind of like a French twist and it's a lot easier. So if you're someone that can't French braid or you have difficulty with it or you just don't have time, this is an awesome alternative. After finishing each section, I like to secure the ends with a bobby pin so the twists don't come undone. So that way you can pull them back together and then just tie them with a little elastic in the back. And that's it. And it's a super cute hairstyle that really takes advantage of the texture in your hair. Okay, time for the last look. And this one is going to be an updo. So for this, I'm gonna start with the top third of my hair and I'm just going to twist it around itself. And if you wanna add even more volume, something that you can do is like back combing with your fingers. So you just take your fingers and push back on the twist and that's it. Then I'm just gonna take that twist and tuck it under and secure it with a bobby pin. Then I take the next third of hair and do the exact same thing, pinning it underneath the first section. If you're having a little bit of trouble securing it, you can always cross your bobby pins in an X so it helps hold everything in place. And yep, you guessed it, same thing with the last piece. This one can be a little bit tricky since usually you have little crazy hairs at the bottom, but that's why we're using bobby pins so you can use as many as you need. And here we go, we have an awesome updo that looks like it took a ton of time, but it really didn't. And you can dress it up, you can dress it down. If you're having a bad hair day, this is a great way to pull everything back and just a fun, different way to wear your hair. All right, that is gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to texturize your hair a little bit. And as always, if you try any of these hairstyles yourself, you know I wanna see your photos on Twitter and Instagram so you can tag me in your photos and tweet them to me and I will see them and like them and love them and cherish them forever. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the All Things Hair US YouTube channel for even more hair tips and tutorials from me and some of my friends. So that is it. I am gonna peace out now. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Bye.